All right, guys, welcome back. My name is Anthony, aka GM85. All right, so first things first, guys. Maybe switching the name from my regular real name, GM85, also to maybe GM85 Tools or GM85 Garage. Y'all, let me know what you think about that, guys. Or if you have other suggestions, let me know. So we're gonna go on a trip. We're gonna go across the pond. We're gonna go to Germany today, guys. So since we're going to Germany, it's only fitting we have a Das Boot. And let's see what we're gonna go to. We're gonna go to Germany first, and then we're gonna go all the way back across the pond back to America, guys. And we're gonna talk about quite a bit of stuff about once we get to the American side of things, actually, guys. So, all right, let's get into this. Ooh, what do we got here, guys? Nipex, 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 and Philo, wood handled screwdrivers, guys. All of this is made in Germany. These are just random Nipex stuff I own. The reason I'm talking about the Nipex is because I finally got the pair of pliers I wanted, guys, which is this guy here. The needle noses. It's a pair of pliers I had for nine years, almost ten. It was in a pair of my pockets. I was wearing cargos and it fell out of my pocket on the way home one day. So this is the reason we're talking about the German stuff today, guys. And before I found this one, took this took two weeks to find. We had, I ordered this guy here. This is just your regular old standard pair of needle nose with a cutter, guys. These are basically the same, except this one has a 12 gauge wire strip in it. So for me, this is the best pair of needle nose pliers on the market or you could have in your toolbox because needle noses are kind of universal but this is i could use it for c-rings cutting wire and stripping my basic wires for everyday use this is the pair of pliers i take with me around my shop it's they stay in my cargo pocket or my slip pocket wherever it is these ones stay with me these ones are not going to the shop these are going to stay home now so i have a nice pair of pliers for the house uh, the difference is literally the part number is exactly the same on both of these guys, except the one with the cutter has an S1, guys. Exact same pair, same length and everything, guys. Uh, <coughs> I believe these are considered electrician's pliers. When I got mine, I got these at Lowe's... Um, a number of years ago and I found them in the electronics aisle with the electrician's tools not with the other tools Lowe's unfortunately does not carry Nipex in my area no more for some reason which I think is pretty sad they got a lot of problems going on over there anyway so that's what we're talking about German guys this guy right here if you guys can find these right now these are on Amazon for I believe 40 bucks which I did not pay 40 bucks for them I got these for $32 I believe and this pair is 28 bucks uh, I would spend ten dollars more for this pair I would buy these for forty dollars right now if I had to guys when I bought these there was one pair left now there's only two so I will try to put a link for these in the description box if anyone's interested in this specific set this is a really nice set guys and then we got these guys hose pliers I actually do not use these for spark plugs I use these for vacuum lines and uh, cooling lines at work and then the reason I wanted these back so bad is because these essentially replace these I very rarely use regular dykes these are the ones that live in my motorcycle bag so they're basically brand new and it's a good day when you don't have to go into your riding bag <coughs> and then we got big old pliers wrench nice the guy here i actually don't use this too often i use this guy the most and out of all these pliers on this table right here guys this is the second most expensive at 48 dollars followed by this guy at 55 except this guy is worth the 50 bucks guys using this with the mini crescent wrench you guys can do anything and this goes all the way to seven eighths that's a seven eighths opening or 22 millimeter if you're from europe or china japan rest of the world but 
We're talking about those guys. Now let's get into the one thing I've been meaning to talk about for months on end. Wooden screwdrivers, guys. These are made by Philo. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly by any means, guys. So these are kind of a hybrid combination of kind of the Weeha grip or Wera grip or almost kind of the contoured uh, comfort grips from Craftsman almost. But these feel superior in a lot of ways. They feel good right here. <coughs> and they have good flats on them. They feel really comfortable in your hand. You got your little nut bolster here. And supposedly, according to their description, this is a leather cap with a striker. So it is a full uh, straight blade of tang metal, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure if they're a magnetic by any means, guys. But uh, I haven't used these too often just yet. The, I bought these for the house. I will link these as well, guys. Um, these are... Uh, I believe I got these for $20 off of Amazon. Um, Germans are pretty damn notorious for making good quality tools, guys. Um, these are probably up there, but I can't speak to the full quality. These only do have a 15-year limited warranty also, guys. Um, and I'm not going to say these are perfect because you see this guy here. I was using this guy as a pry bar or a wedge guys and so he has been rounded so the steel is not of the hardest quality i believe guys now the reason this guy looks like this is because i chose to do this these naturally have a coating on them they're made of i believe it's birch wood um and I'm, i don't care about the warranty for these being 20 bucks i will buy a second set of these guys but at the end of the day when i get to around to it all of these are going to look like this they're all going to get the old baseball bottle cap treatment where you grab a bottle cap and you just start gnawing away at them guys and you just get yourself a little extra you get yourself a little bit more grip on them guys you just got to continuously work around them guys and these have a good grip like this though but this helps out quite a bit guys so just a little wooden handled screwdriver trick i i do it's from the baseball days baseball playing days guys um if anyone cares i believe this is you know pretty solid gripping guys these are going to be the only tools that stay here on the table uh so this is what i got for these uh these do have individual part numbers they also make these in a I believe a posi drive in a p3 and a p2 i believe guys and maybe even a p1 i'm not sure you can get them individually if you need individual pieces as well guys um i think this little five piece kit is a pretty good deal so <clears throat> we're gonna flip back around here guys all right guys so we're done in germany now man so we're gonna get rid of all the pliers from germany here guys and we will be leaving the wooden screwdrivers because now we're going to go back to america and we're going to talk about a lot of stuff actually from good old usa first thing we're going to talk about is all of these different handles on screwdrivers that i own or not all of these are even screwdrivers one's a file one's a uh, little poke saw guys and then we're going to talk about the american wooden screwdrivers guys along with some other things I'm going to show you as I go. I'm going to talk about American quality is nowhere near what it used to be. Once again, guys, that's a big thing for me. And I know a few other guys in the community, guys. And this is made by Irwin slash Hansen. We're going to talk about these things specifically because these are the two most convenient things I have around at the moment. So let's flip all the way back around and we're going to go through all and since we are in America we are drinking ice cold Coors Light today <clears throat> so alright guys we got a lot of stuff right here now we have a lot of stuff going on here guys so now these are the American screwdrivers so we need to make, make, make a lot of space here we already talked about the German guys, so we'll kind of move them a little 
a little further around. So, all right, guys. So, wooden screwdrivers. These are Americans. These are made by a company called Wild. Now, I did not know this company made this style of screwdriver. I ran across these randomly when I was searching for companies who make these. Now, Philo makes them in that style, like this. Another company is Wild, good old USA American ones. Another company is Grace, which is made in America as well. Now, this is a pick set I have made by Grace, <coughs> which is all of my regular picks now are wooden handles, guys. See, I got a full little mini pick set, all with wooden handles, guys. Um, Grace is a company who mostly manufactures for gun maintenance and uh, gunsmithing tools, guys. But if they're good enough for your guns, they're good enough for me on automotive. And the reason is going to be explained shortly. Not necessarily for guns, but for automotive use in wooden handles, guys. Now, other companies who make wooden ones are... Wehel makes them, but they're kind of round. Uh, Vessel does make some as well. I have no experience with those particular ones. I do have experience with these. I've had these for almost a year now. They don't get used too often, except for specific ones. And I will link these as well, along with the pick set. Also, Grace does make their own version of screwdrivers like this. And I will purchase them because they come with the very important stubby which is this size i've had this particular one for i've owned this for 25 years myself and i really have no idea how old it is other than the length of time i have had it and i like it because i can do this with it and get under something and bear down really good guys and now we're going to get into the <coughs> other reason i prefer wood over everything this is the closest thing I have to a snap-on comfort grip. This is a Craftsman Professional. Pretty close to the snap-on stuff or whatever the comfort grip stuff is on the uh, tool trucks nowadays. This is the closest thing I have to that here. It's kind of a hard handle and stuff. It's nice, but over time it gets slick with oil. This crap wears out, so I don't like this either. I don't use it very often. I only bought that for doing something on a intake manifold. Our old standard American Craftsman stuff, guys. This is very old, you can tell. This is probably going to get turned into a scratch owl at some point, guys. We all have these. Every house in America probably does, guys. So, we're going to... This is okay. Uh, I pref If you can find the older Craftsman, they're much, much nicer, guys. Um... And you're going to see when I get to the flathead from Craftsman, guys. Um, for me, these are just good beater screwdrivers, basically. So we're going to pass this. This is very grippy, very uncomfortable. Also, guys, now we're going to go to good old bastard file. This is made by Benchmark when they used to make stuff in America. I don't know if they still do. Um, very good, comfortable handle. It's just not grippy. It has no... No grip to it. If this gets oil or fluid on it, it's going to be slick as hell. Now, <clears throat> we're going to get to good old Klein. These are nice. I have these by old, uh, I have this style handle also in Crescent somewhere. Clearly, the dog got a hold of this, was trying to help out apparently. But this is a pretty solid uh, grip. But again, this wears out and this will tend to slide off at some point. This one's actually in good, play, good shape. This is not American. This is made by... Oh, no, this is this is Vermont American. Surprisingly, I found this in my gutter when I was cleaning the gutters, guys. This is a pretty good handle. Very soft. It feels kind of like a combination of Craftsman and almost, almost a Stanley American, guys. This is a pretty good little screwdriver. So, for being a freebie from the gutter when I was cleaning leaves, pretty solid deal. Now, here's another Craftsman. The reason this is here is not because of the handle. It is because of the quality of craftsman has slipped in their screwdrivers and it's specifically in their flatheads we all misuse them as pry bars guys but their their steel is so brittle on their more modern ones this is an american one supposedly guys 
every flathead I've had from them chips. So I just have this here for that specific reason. This is a pretty solid representation of the old square handle snap-ons or SKs, guys. I actually do like this, though, this grip. I have this in the hard handles at the shop for my stubbies and my uh, Phillips 1 and 2 with the little teeth in them. Only snap-on screwdrivers I own, guys. This is pretty good representation. of it. This isn't bad, but what I would do is I would take a file and I'd groove it so you have a little bit more grip. That's what I would do. This is actually my favorite screws ever for the house. This is an old Stanley American one. This screwdriver is worth its weight in gold for me. I have no idea where I got this at all, guys. The tip is in phenomenal shape. It's not chipping. It's not rounding off. I've even used this where I hit it with a hammer, guys. And it <coughs> is phenomenal. This is the quality I wish Stanley was still at, guys. This is an amazing product. If Stanley was able to do this still, I would buy a lot more Stanley products. I need to find my Stanley American ratchet to show you how good their ratchets used to be, guys. And I believe Power Stroke Jude could do a segue on that with me if I can find it. But this is the best screwdriver out of the ones I've shown with the different grips that I have available right now. Because you got a grip right here for your thumb you got this and it, it feels like the craftsman but it also feels more comfortable than the craftsman guys and the metal is made very very well even over the craftsman stuff even the craftsman professional line but now we're going to get back to the why the wood is better guys so we're going to talk about these right here you know we'll throw some of the grace little guys in here too you can clearly see grace and wild they could possibly be made by the same company or maybe one makes one for the other or vice versa. I'm not sure who came first, guys. But the reason I like wood ones is because, look at the age of this. I told you guys, this is 25 years old. All of those other ones, they get wet, they deteriorate, they do rot, especially these guys. These do dry rot over time, guys, long, as long as they sit. That's why I don't buy these. You're actually better off with these polyurethane guys, but even these suck. I do have some of these that are modified. I will show you guys later where I drill a hole through these because this fucking wrench trick they show where you put a wrench on it, that don't fucking work. It strips. But <coughs> wood is durable. Wood lasts, guys. Like, this is 25 years old. It's got a split in it. No big deal, guys. It's not even that deep. So, this is nice and knurled up. This is going to be turned into a soft, rounded head for pulling O-rings out of stuff when I'm working, guys. So, that's what I'm going to do with this guy. I'm going to take him to the grinder. I'm going to round him out, and I'm going to have myself a nice, rounded, uh, rounded pick. So, the thing I like about wood is, yes, I got rid of I stripped this one really good, and I grooved it up myself. I don't care about the warranty. The product is not necessarily super durable in the metal, but I also did misuse this. That's on me, guys. But the good thing is, wood will last a very long time. And what wood does that all the other materials doesn't do is they will absorb fluids and waters. And that does eventually lead to wood rot. But here's the thing. This is a straight piece of metal goes all the way through. You can cut this entire thing off, guys. Get rid of this little guy for a minute. And if you're really good or have a friend who's a woodworker, he can make you a new handle and you put a new handle on and you're back in business. Whereas, you can't do that with this guy. So, superior in a lot of ways for me, guys. More durable, more comfortable. Plus, it's fucking nicer. Now, we're going to go on to the last little bit here, guys. So... This is what came in my 117 piece tap and die set, guys. Regular little tap guy. This is the one I've had for a number of years also. This is from the Irwin Hansen Super Set. All SAE, guys. And this one does specify USA on here. These are completely different tap wrenches in every way. This is heavier. This has thicker, a thicker uh, body right here. The knurling is 
vastly superior and deeper versus this crap. And the knurling on this goes all the way around as opposed to this one where it is, where is it at? Right here. They half-ass it where they split it in half on this arm for some reason. Apparently they didn't do that on here on this side though. But also guys, open up, watch this. This little guy falls out right here, nice and easy. Normally it does, guys. I'm not bugging lying. This thing is just crap. It falls out 90% of the time, but I've had it locked in place pretty good um, for a minute, guys. What happens is, on the newer ones, I like how it doesn't want to do it when I'm filming this, though, but you can see how much easier this does move versus this one. This one falls out like this. Like, this is really... A joke for me for the quality that where I've been using this and I've had that happen when I'm trying to do a tap job guys where this one doesn't do it this one stays in place I really wish the quality from a lot of the Irwin products would go back up because their production is very high and stuff but their quality has slipped drastically in years guys but no uh, that's all I got guys I'll try to link uh, the German screwdrivers the grace things the wilds uh and probably some of the specific, the nip expires in the description guys once again my name is anthony uh aka gm85 uh let me know like comment subscribe what do you think uh gm85 tools or gm85 garage guys i'll see you for the next one